right, let me uh, let me uh, talk to you a little bit about this. Uh, what we're talking about right here with it is that um, the uh, after you watch this is the third part of the video, and it's about this exercise number five, task C. With it, this is exercise number five. We're, I assume that you have watched part one and two already. This is part three. So um, in here, I ask you to basically do the same thing as what you did for this flower, and um, you would you know calculate another box, a model box, to actually fit the width of that box underneath of this, uh, so you can see this a little bit more with it. And I gave you kind of like a sample form of how this is calculated out here. I assume you you read this all over here, and then I gave it a little bit more word explanation for this. And then your next task is to go into that flower. Uh, folder that I had in my directory in eCampus and you download it and you pick a flower uh, and you insert that image in there with it and here I am so uh, I am let me talk to you a little bit how that works with it. I'm going to demo another one with it so uh, <clears throat> so you come in here right now and I want you to take a look at um, this is this is the image that I have place it looks like this all right now I didn't put anything else besides just the image in there with it and, and I created this is a this is a great way how to uh, show you how I you know, we're talking about we have three categories the tag definitions and then you have a class and then you have an ID um, I created what's called a container underscore two uh, which is a class. This is a, um, um, a CSS class that's inside of my internal HTML, which is between my head and my style. Uh, my style tags are inside of my uh, my head tags with it. Uh, they're all, all internal. So if you look at this container that I have right now, um, <clears throat> I have here's the class. It starts out with a period for the word class. And the class has higher presence, it's going to take over the actual tag definition. So here is a sample of a tag definition with it as well, div like that with it. Third category we have is the ID. ID is the unique, one uniqueness of that page. Okay, so let's talk about the first thing is the, um, the class container, class dot container with it. And I like for you to uh, look at this as Here's the width and here's the uh, the height of this. Now, just want to let you know where this came from with it. So, if you went to your image with it, and here's the image that I picked out is IMG 5114. It's the red flower, mirrorless flower with it. Right mouse click on it and you come down and you pick, click on properties and you click on detail. And in the detail, what you're going to notice is that I realize that it says that the width is 480 and the height is 640. Well, that's true for this image. It looks perfectly the way how it is with it. But a lot of times that when I use, when we, when we take cell phones and we take these photos with it, a lot of times, the depending how we rotate the phone with it and how, how it comes it comes into the photos with it, and we can have the phone upside down or sideways with it. So the two variables, width and height, can be switch is my point. In this case, I switched it. All right. In this case, when I took the phone, when I took <coughs> when I took the photo, I might have um, had the phone upside down, for instance, or sideways with it. So, in essence, the variables are swapped. So, so here's just to point that out with it. That's where I got the number, and we actually come in here with it. So, um, in the photo with it, I realized. Yeah, let me put that up there again one more time. In the photo with it, I realized that. Uh, it was, it was, you know, if you look at the, if you can see this, um, let me put this side by side in here. So in the photo, it says uh, the property is width is 480 and the height is 640. And these two numbers are swapped. That's what I mean. Okay. So that's the first thing I want to point out with it. So if you get an upside down, a sideway photo, how do you fix it? Well, you know, it could be because of the two variables that's, that's fixing it. The second property, the third is I gave it a border of zero. Uh, you're welcome to give it a border of zero, but you have to realize that when you add up both all these right here, um, this is the container with it, right? So this entire width, um, add that to the, uh, I don't have a margin. I didn't, I didn't have um, the the other um, border in there. So I, I just left this uh, 420 on this as well, 460. All right. So that's the sum of that with it. So um, 
keep in mind, keep in mind, the total of this entire container is uh, 640, 640 with it as well. So now, what you ha also have to add, <clears throat> what you also have to add is if I had a border, which I, in this case I don't, if I have a margin, which I have, I don't, or a padding, I didn't set any of that right now in here with it. Now, I need to create the caption below it, all right, the caption below it. The sum of the caption below it, if I took 460, four all right, plus twice the two times the border, which is another 20. Here it's 10, so the left and the right. So that makes it 500, and then you add two of this in here as well. That makes another 520, all right? So that 520 is what I have as a caption below. Now note, this is an ID, right? This is an ID. So I come down here, and I'm going to insert that ID using the ID caption in the paragraph, and then using the... Uh, uh, the image on the top, here's what it looks like, and in between, I have to use a style for a uh, break tag, I want to add margin bottom, I have to add 100 pixel in separation between the two with it as well. So I just want to share that with you and what that looks like with it when you add up uh, all the numbers and all, all the things happen, so if it needs to rotate, then you have to do that with it as well. Okay, so that's that's what I had to do, and if I right mouse click on this, and look at this in live server, and this is what it would look like right here. Okay, so here is our image with the uh, with the flower in the in the, our box model, and here is the caption uh, ID in it. So this is a class that's being used because I didn't I couldn't use the div tag anymore because we have a general div tag up here already. So I, I kept everything the same, but I I use a class and the ID. All right, so that's it.